A fitting backdrop for a game of massive significance. The stage is set, a packed house at the ready, awaiting two teams who like nothing better than to test themselves on a stage like this. The tricky part is predicting which side will outfox the other. It is Chelsea. They take on Everton live. Hello everyone, great to be with you from Stamford Bridge. I'm Derek Ray, perched here on the commentary gantry, and sitting alongside me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And it's all about action from the Premier League in this case. It is Chelsea facing Everton. Well, Derek, we can talk about coaches and their methods, but it's now down to the players. Which ones are going to stand out, who will affect the game, and who will have the greater desire? It should be a cracking game, though. Can they get in behind them? Oh, surely! Oh, tremendous reflex action there from the keeper. Well, he didn't have long to react, did he? But that's a top-class save, I have to say. And here's how it looks for Chelsea. Although we have it down as a 4-5-1, it's actually more likely to be a 4-2-3-1. They play the two holding midfield players, a number 10 and two wingers. The system has a nice balance to it. Looking for someone to play it to. And here's how Everton line up. Well, they're matching up here, so midfield domination will be key to winning this game. If they can manage that, it will then allow their fullbacks to join their attacking play. to make the tackle and did he's going forward well here still possibilities and no nonsense defensive clearance just cutting off the supply well Chelsea have started well here and they look a real threat every time they go forward Yes, the keeper has made a very good save, but he may need to make a few more before the end of this one. And on the front foot again, no let-up from them at all. That's a good-looking pass. Everton unable to hang on to the ball. A foul play, says the referee. Well, perhaps he thought he might escape punishment. Not the case. It's a booking. Superbly to take back possession. McNeil. Still level here, but the pressure escalating. Oh, good defending to stop a decent looking attack. Godfrey promising looking attack from Everton and space available inside a disappointing end to the move and the referee takes exception to the challenge free kick Dangerous ball, and clears his lines. And plenty of space for this Chelsea attack. Can he put them in front? Yes is the emphatic answer. And you have to say, it was on the cards.
Well, here it is again, and it's all about the pace in transition. They're so quick to get out from the back, and there's certainly no doubt about the finish. He really hits it with power and accuracy. Nothing the keeper can do about that. So Everton get the ball moving again. Can they find a response here? Harrison. And the pass deftly cut out. Mudrik. Breathing a sigh of relief. Ball one. Calvert Lewin. Amadou Onana. McNeil. And lining it up. So Everton trailing and looking for inspiration from this corner. Deciding to go short with this one. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Gusto. Noni Madueke. Well, oh, good run this. Now what can he do with it? Pulls it back. McNeil Everton moving the ball forward with purpose chance for the leveler and a goal real excitement here the equaliser well here it is again he goes past his marker so easily with just a drop of the shoulder and the movement is good making for a comfortable finish it's a really great goal So back underway, one goal apiece here. Malo Gusto. Madueke. Out of play for what will be a Chelsea throw. Not an easy one to cut out, really. Well, good run and good ball control. That's a good-looking ball. And a fine stop. Two minutes to be added on at the end. Caicedo. Malo Gusto. Chance to play it in. Will he find the net? And thwarting his opponent in the nick of time. Who can he pick out? Not the most confident clearance. Teammate available. Oh, a tremendous block. And the first 45 minutes have come and gone here at Stamford Bridge.
I think most fans would be pretty happy with this man's display so far. Well, Derek, he plugged away in that first half, making run after run without too much success, but eventually he got his reward, and what an important goal it was. So the beginning of the second half here at Stamford Bridge. is there a goal here giving his team precisely what they were looking for now he deserves to celebrate it Well, here we can see it again. Look at the way he glides past the defender to create space for himself. But when he shoots, I expected him to go across the goalkeeper. He should never beat the goalkeeper inside that near post. That's not good keeping. Well, that reaction says it all. That's such an important goal in this game. Well, as they kick off again, 2-1 the current state of affairs. Gallagher. And playing it through. Well, nothing for them to worry about in the end. Good defending. Skipping away. McNeil. This looks promising from Everton. A chance to whip it in. And the challenge halts them in their tracks. Promising sequence. And a chance to level it. Frantic action from one end to the other. They weren't ahead for long. And this match is level again. Well, here it is again, and the pace in which they break forward is devastating. It's so hard to defend against, and then the finish is fairly simple in the end. That's a good goal. Well, that picture says it all. His team are back in the game now. Well, back underway here, and they've split the four goals between them so far. McNeil. He read the situation defensively and did his job. We're using the space really well, but now can they push on? Must take the lead here. to the final half hour and he's certainly not alone and a goal just like that they're back in front well look at this again because this is a really well worked goal the passing is incisive the movement off the ball is bright and it leads to a fairly simple finish in the end. It's a great goal. Well, all eyes are on the manager. What's he going to do to turn this around? You can't really say defences are on top. 3-2. And the advantage accrues to the attacking side. Well, the advantage didn't come to very much, hence the award of a free kick by the referee.
excellent strike. Well, any goalkeeper would be disappointed if he didn't save that. Kukureya. Connor Gallagher. Palmer with it. Well, there was impending danger, but good defending. Being pressed here. That's what you call defending from the front. Possibilities here. And defensive play to be applauded. Tarkovsky. Amadou Onana. Gomes. Onana. Here is Andre Gomes. Is it going to end up being productive for them? Well, nothing comes of it. It looked promising. minutes left for play now can they hit them on the counter well that's common sense refereeing to play advantage real chance oh a clinical counter attack and so close to a goal well that's exactly what they're looking to do force the turnover and then break at pace so close to a very good goal Attack full of promise. Noni Madueke. Caicedo. Oh, this is looking promising. Oh, that's a super piece of defending. And cleared away without much fuss. A throw in coming up now. Surely, and it goes to increase their advantage. And will that be the goal that ends up securing it for them? Well, let's take another look. It's a really well-timed pass to break the offside line. And then through on goal, you never really had any doubt that he wouldn't slot that away. It's a cool finish. Current scoreline 4 2. McNeil. Well, not long to go now, and Chelsea have been superb, Stuart. Yeah, this has been a good performance. They've looked really sharp going forward, and they've shown a lot of energy. They'll certainly be pleased with their overall... Oh, Stuart, opportunity here. In it goes to rubber stamp it once and for all. Well, here we can see it again. Look at the way he glides past the defender to create space for himself. And then the finish is fairly simple in the end. That's a good goal. It's a massive lead, and it's very hard to imagine them losing it now. Given away by Chelsea. Amadou Onana. Ducouré. And Gomes. 
promising looking attack but comes to nothing in the end and it will be goalkeeper's ball Calvert-Lewin Everton being afforded too much space here for the right angle and a very good challenge so the final whistle now it goes down as a victory for Chelsea to the delight of their fans around the world well Derek what a good performance that was they did most things right and their attacking play was inventive and had a real cutting edge that was a really dominant display from them today and in the final analysis, a really positive performance from this man, Stuart. Well, that was a great performance. His understanding of how to find space was brilliant today. And, of course, he scored two really good goals.